Alleluia. Praise the Lord. I want to my lovely wife. Repeta com a lixa que eu pedo. She loves you very much. Ana penda sana. As do I. Ana penda. Her name is Reina. É com a imagina de tua Reina. Hello. Hello. I feel very humbled. Na disse de minha que that the elders have allowed me and that my husband has allowed me to come and share some scriptures that have touched my heart that has moved my spirit that has changed my life I grew up in church, but I never read the Word of God. I heard the Word of God preached by other people, but I did not value it. One day, I heard the Word of God preached like I've never heard preached before. This man of God stood up and he preached the goodness and the severity of God. And it excited my spirit. My spirit <coughs> bared witness of the truth and I wanted to know who God was. I knew that I couldn't find out who God was by what someone else knew about God. But I needed to know who God was through his word. His word is living. His word has taught me. And his word has changed me. So I went and bought a Bible. And I went home and I opened it up. And I opened up my heart. Because I did not want God to be put into a box. I wanted to know who God really was. I wanted to know the harpy of God. So I opened up the Bible. And I began to read. And this word is amazing. As I read the word of God, God started to show me who I am. And who I was. I opened up the Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And I looked at verse 9. And the word of God says, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Neither fornicator, nor idolater, nor adulterer, nor homosexual, nor sodomite, nor thief, nor covetous, nor drunkard, has any inheritance in the kingdom of God. And that shocked me when I read it. Because I did not look at my friends. I did not think about my relatives. I thought about myself. 
as I read the word of God. And I knew I was in trouble. And I continued to read the word of God. Because the truth bears witness in my spirit. This word is living. I read in Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. Jesus Christ himself, he says. And I saw that I was in trouble. Because this is a prophecy from Jesus. About himself coming quickly. And I knew I knew I needed to change my life. I wanted to be one of those who loved the commandments of God and obeyed the commandments of God through faith in Jesus Christ because I wanted to enter through the gates into the city of God to be with the people of God I did not want to be shut out I believed God's word because I saw myself in the word of God. As I continued to read, I saw in Acts chapter 10 verse 35. And the Bible says, but in every nation, Whoever fears him and works righteousness Amen. is accepted by him. Amen. And I was so excited because this means that this promise is for me and for all people who seek God. Amen. The fear of the Lord is clean. And it endures forever. And the righteous cry out to the Lord. And the Lord hears him. And delivers him from all his troubles. But without faith. It is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And as I read that verse in Hebrews chapter 11, I thought to myself, how can I diligently seek God so that I can receive the reward? So I started worshiping the God. I worship God through song. I made myself vulnerable. I cried out as I sang the words to the song because I applied the words to myself and I sang those songs to the Lord as if it was my own testimony, my own life. And I became bare before the Lord. I diligently sought God. By faith. By praying to Him. In times of trouble. I cry to the Lord. Because He is my defender. He is the avenger. 
And he brings comfort and peace. I prayed to the Lord. And I cried out. With thanksgiving. I gave glory to the Lord. And thanks to his name. And that's diligently seeking God. Because I put him first. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Says. Seek ye first. The kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all things shall be added unto you. So I knew the reward was coming. Because I was diligently seeking God. Not with things that I could just give him. But with my heart. For what can we give God? He owns everything. So I offer God my life. And I love him. So in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 we see the cry of the Father. The Father says to us if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land when I read that in the Bible I believed the word of God even though I did not see it at that moment I know that God is true and that he is light and there is no lie in him the word of God is perfect it converts the soul the testimonies of the Lord are sure making wise the simple. As I continued in my days reading the word of God feasting on the word of God making the word of God my own I see in Ezekiel chapter 18 the heartbeat of God says repent and turn from all your transgressions do not let iniquity be your ruin cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed and get yourself a new heart and a new spirit for why should you die I have no pleasure in the death of one who dies says the Lord therefore turn and live God is telling us God is speaking to us He spoke to me through His word telling me that repentance is not an option then I must have faith in Jesus Christ and if I have faith in Jesus then I would believe his word and I would want to turn and hate my sin David 
Daudi. King David. Fame Daudi. Was a man after God's own heart. Alikuwa na ni mtu ambaye moyo wake uko karibu na Mungu. And this is a song. Na wewe ndio wimbo. That really touched me. Ambaye niguza. David cries out in his word. Daudi analia kwa maneno yake. Blessed is he. Yaani eri yule whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered blessed is the man in whose in whose spirit is is no deceit when i cried out My bones grew old within me. Yaani mifupa zangu zidi nyauka ndani yangu. Through my groanings. Nikakuwa na kulio. Day and night. Kilio changu usiku na mchana. Your hand, O oh Lord, mkono wako e Bwana was heavy upon me. Ilikuwa iko juu yangu nzito juu yangu. You feel the hand and the weight of God. When he gives a person a revelation of their sin, of their ungodliness. God does this through his spirit. David says, I cried out to the Lord. And he forgave. The iniquity of my sin. For this cause. Everyone who is godly. Shall pray to you. Shall pray to you. In, in, in a time when you may be found. Surely in a flood of great waters. They shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me. With songs of deliverance. I love that song, Psalm 32. Because it talks about me it testifies about my life. Yaani yashudia maisha yangu. When I cried out to the Lord. Nilipolilia Bwana. And I sought the Lord through faith. Na nikatafuta ile neno kwa kupitia imani. In the secret place. Katika sehemu pazuri. Where no one is. Nikiwa hapa kwa na mtu. For me and God. Kwa Mungu. And I talked to the Lord. Anagambia Mungu. And he preserved me from troubles. Akanificha kutoka kwa maovu. He pushed all the troubles away. He gave me the peace. That surpasses all understanding. And he guards my heart. And he surrounds me with songs of deliverance. Because when I was delivered from my troubles, I praise the Lord. I gave him thanks. Nikampatia shukran. For looking upon me. Kwa kunishughulikia. A small woman. Yaani mke mdogo. And that's where the songs of deliverance is surrounded because Na hapo ndipo zile wimbo za ukombozi zinazungua kwa sababu I give myself into praise. Najipeana kwa sifa. With my whole heart. Na moyo wangu wote. To the Lord. Kwa Bwana. God wants you and me. Mungu anataka wewe na mimi. To grow close to him. Tusongee karibu. Through the word of God. Kwa kupitia neno la Mungu. Which lives and abides forever. Ambayo inaishi na inadumu milele. Because all flesh is as grass. Mana kila mwili ni kama nyazi. And the glory of man is the flower of the grass. Na hata mwili zingine kama zile sehemu za nyazi. The grass withers. Yaani nyazi unyauka. And the flower falls away. Na hata moto zinapotea. But the word of the Lord. Lakini neno la Mungu. Shall endure forever. Itadumu milele. 
So trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. God promises to give us a new heart and a new spirit. Through his word. We can inherit promises. Through his word. We get understanding. Through his word. We draw near to God. God bless you.